Americans act as if we live in a clockwork universe. Arabs don't. Former American ambassador to Israel Martin Indyk was intimately involved throughout the Clinton administration in trying to negotiate an enduring Middle East peace. It's interesting you talked about the Newtonian clock. Ehud Barak, when he was Prime Minister of Israel, um, was very much focused on the clockwork. He actually, as a hobby, dismantled and reassembled clocks. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> And the timing was everything to him. <laughs> and and he, so he committed the same uh, error. Same for, he operated on the same false assumption. You know, Arab, uh, Osama bin Laden is credited with the saying, I don't know whether he said it, but it's a, it's a good, good line. It captures it. He said, you Americans have the watches, but we have the time. And that's, that's the critical difference. Time moves a lot more slowly in that part of the world. you got leaders there, authoritarian leaders, who have no term limits except the term of their natural lives. And they're not in a hurry by nature. We are in a hurry. We're a society that's in a terrible hurry. That's how come we invented fast food. You know? <laughs> and it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> it's, you know, it's quintessentially American. Yeah. Right? We want change. We want it to come quickly and, and, but, and we're impatient. And they have all the patience in the world. Well, and, and so, and except there are those moments when there suddenly these leaders feel that their, th their throne is threatened, their people are, are restless, that they've got to do something. And that's the moment when their clock speeds up. And that's the moment when we can actually affect the change to a more peaceful, uh, or more democratic place. And yet we've been tone deaf to that. Exactly. We are tone deaf to it because, you know, it's very hard for us to accept that their clock is different. To or that they that, might know something we don't know? Their experience is different. The way they react to things is different to the way we do. You know, it's one of the things that, that, that struck me as we were doing this, it's not, it's not just our innocence. Um, there's also, and, and, and an arrogance of assuming that they want to be like us, there's also an ignorance of their ways, of their history. Um, and it's, it's kind of willful on our part. You know, I, I had certainly studied the region, but when it came to actually making peace, when, when we had to, you know, for example, go to Camp David and, and try to uh, write a peace treaty for, that would end the conflict between the Israelis and Palestinians, we weren't prepared for that. We didn't. We hadn't done the study of it. We hadn't. We hadn't prepared the, all the research on Jerusalem, for instance. It was the first time we actually started to negotiate Jerusalem, and we 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 were, you know, basically ignorant of of all of the depths of uh, of these issues.